Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with the Arduous Moth. Today we'll be reviewing the KV122 Houser. The reason why I'm reviewing this is because someone by the name of... Let me get his name up. By the name of the Ghost of uh, Shirakawa. Shirakawa? I believe that's the name. Wanted me to review this tank. Uh, not sure if it's because he's thinking of getting it, or maybe he just wants to see me review this again. But we're going to review it. Um, over the couple of months to a year, uh, probably not a year because this thing is not that old. But in a couple of months, this thing has been buffed and buffed and buffed and buffed, um, which is pretty nice. But, yeah, yeah, hang on a minute, hang on, hang on. I, I, I need to check something, um, I need to look at my, did I do a KB122 review? I think I did, if I just, playlists, Steel Titans. Let's have a look. Uh, did I do it? Can you watch what you review? I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, hang on, guys. I'm just just looking. I didn't do a few on it. Right? I'm absolutely sure. Hang on, I, I, I'm i just gonna check. Just ask. Maybe. Sorry, two. Just to see if he responds, because I'm pretty sure that damage was a little bit higher. Um, but, we're going to go over the other stats. So, uh, it has 140mm pen. The muzzle velocity is, muzzle velocity is pretty... Yeah, non-existent. Um, the HE... Forget it, really. I mean, the HE, I would expect the HE to have a little bit more pen than that, but, I mean, you know, you can't have everything. So it's a 122mm M30 gun. And this is the same gun as is on the SU-122, so if you can't get this tank, but you want to use this gun, get an SU-122. It's not going to be as useful as this thing, but... Um, this thing could do 43. I could do a lot quicker in this thing. I've, you know, I've reached like 50 in this thing, you know, before. Um, the turret rotation speed has been severely buffed. Um, I'm sure if I look at one of my, um, Oh, here you go. Oh, that's easy.
do you see at any point that I look at Let's have a look. Because I'm pretty sure it looks like the uh let's have a look, let's look at the damage. Two hundred and eighty-three. Hang on a second. Wait, the damage is be buffed? Two hundred and ninety-nine. Oh my god. Um okay, that's shocking. They've actually buffed damage. Uh, the repair speed is nine seconds. I think that's the average repair speed. Um, the whole sort of traverse basically means how far the turret can turn around. It's 360 degrees. The mass is 42 and a half tons, so it's a pretty heavy girl. Uh, the reload speed is 16.5 seconds. When this thing first came out, it used to be 25 seconds. So this thing is what well, had like an 8.5 second buff. Um, Turrets. Turret. There's no armor at the side of. Turret. Just 82 there. Uh, Nebu? Uh, 82. Oh, wait, is it talking about this part? It's weird. We'll talk about this part, but hey. Um, basically, this thing is pretty damn good. We're gonna do some gameplay in a minute. Um, this thing has five degrees gun pressure, which doesn't sound a lot, but you know, it's pretty lot. You can take the HE for like HE memes and whatnot. Um, you can get a kill with HE, but because of you know, you got module damage and whatnot now, you can actually troll the absolute living crap out of um players by basically breaking their modules over and over and over and over again. We're going to see if there is indeed someone over here. T-3457 somewhere. Oh no, don't be stuck. What the fuck are you stuck on? Uh, can I launch myself up? Oh my god, sis, come on! Really? Napu, that's another thing that needs to be changed is... Oh my god, I can't believe I got stuck there. Oh well, we'll just spawn in again. Um, yeah, we're gonna try and, uh, try and kill someone. With this big old gun. Did someone just die from spawn camping? Ooh. Now the touch for us is still pretty slow, but it's nowhere near as slow as it used to be. Ooh. Really? That did minimum damage to him? Oh shit. Dead. Okay, so he's dead. I still want to be a bit careful. Oh, 
There's always less allies than there are friendlies. Hmm. Where, oh, where, oh, where would they be? It's a puma. That's more willow. Oh, uh, what? Oh, you really joke me, wouldn't you? Took out my flipping crew. Oh well. Let's we'll get the crew back up and running and, uh, Oh, fuck. Oh, well. We weren't looking in that direction, so. Looks like the idiots are going to spawn for me. Right, let's see if I could, we could get rid of one of them. Where are you? There's one there. So we will uh, eradicate him. That's not a fucking kill, what the hell? Oh, there go. Oh, we lost, oh well. The one map that I have to say that I absolutely despise is probably that uh, hybrid map. I can't say the first name. So I'm obviously too bizarre to say it. So. <laughs> These guys say the best way to counter spawn campers is do not spawn at all costs. Really? You could be that pathetic? Fucking hell, man. Oh well. We're not going to complain about it. Honestly, I believe that, you know, spawn campers, the spawn camping, like, kill ratio should be, like, that, the, you know, the kill circle should be increased in size. We'll know when someone's capping C, that's the thing. So we don't exactly need to focus on, uh, on C at the moment. I'm to focus on A now, uh, uh, but now. Oh, 
go, 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 time. Oh. That was a bounce? That was a bull. <laughs> I cannot believe that actually bounced. Look, guys, if you go to spawn camp, of course you're going to die from the bloody spawn thing. It's, don't spawn camp. It's not fun on them. It's not fair on them. I'm not going to spawn camp because it won't be fair. It's oh hello, is that a tank? I don't know. I want to keep an eye on that area. Good. It doesn't say, oh, you've killed him, but, you know, I'm not sure what that is. Probably because, um, ooh, there are some people pushing up. You sneaky little shit. Yeah, yeah, you up there. Come on. Back to 3M spawn camping. Mm. Uh huh. And he's being punished for it. So that's good. I'm not going to help you. No, fuck you. I'm not going to help you spawn camp there. No damage. I'm thinking that's a bloody tank behind him. Oh, is someone capping the. No, pop goes the head. <laughs> Do not worry, Mr. T80, you will be next. No? Hello? Game? 
Oh fuck. Uh give up mate, you can't you can't damage me. He did. Okay, so now he's dead. I will literally not help anyone spawn camp. It's just not, it, it's not fun, it's not fair, it's not clever. Anyone who spawn camps is just, well, they're assholes, really. I know I shouldn't say that, but still. That T80 driver, he's pretty damn good actually. I, I've took my hat off for him. You know, he doesn't have the gun, but he definitely. Oh my god, I flipping missed him! He saved my guy. Yes. Oh, is that T eighty can't go anywhere without knowing that he's about to get back to Oh, oh shit. shit. You want to throw out again, mate? What? Oh, fuck's sake. But that's so much bullshit. That hit nothing. That shell hit nothing. And it detonated in front of him. What? Mate, please. Please, Napo, explain that. What the fuck happened there? Did I hit an invisible wall? Jesus Christ, man. That T80 driver, you know, if you're watching this video, bloody hats off to you, mate. Victory! Yeah! Finally. I swear, if it's bloody highway, if it's highway, I'm gonna... I don't like highway. I hate highway. Uh, 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 the, well, that's the video then. I absolutely hate this game, uh, this match, uh, this map, uh, sorry, I do apologise. Um, I despise this map. I really do despise this map. Um, it's not a good map. This map sucks, it really does. And I know, again, I know that, um, there's gonna be people... That's going to say, oh, it's a skill issue. It's not. It is, it's just not a skill issue. It's the fact that this map is terribly designed. Um, and the fact that people can't get along with, the, with, with it. They can't. They just can't. You know, it just come. It, it turns into an absolute camp fest. 
that when you spawn in, there's nowhere to hide. There's literally nowhere to hide. And the enemy team can just wait for like, what, 10 seconds and then fire and kill you. Like, it, it, it's completely unbalanced. And that's why I hate this map. I hate uh, Follow Kolamsk. Follow Kolamsk? Highway. Terrible map. Absolutely terrible map. Um, honestly, I might put up a poll on my channel, of course. Um, you know, ask everybody, you know, do you want this map removed or do you want it kept stayed in? I'll be very surprised if the majority of people ask this map to stay in. Because this map is absolutely horrific. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, give a thumbs up. Put in the comment section, what do you think of the KV-122? Um, it takes skill to use. Uh, you know, some people will say, oh no, it's you know, it's a pay-to-win tank. It kind of is, but you have to be a decent to good player to make this tank work. Um, at long range, this tank will suffer, but the benefit is because the shell is so slow, you can actually arc the shell over uh, like an obstacle. You could back up a bit and then arc it over and smack somebody, you know, bruised behind. Uh, but this also, this thing also has pretty trolley armor. Like you can um you can angle like that, like say there's an enemy like right there. You can angle like that. Or you don't even need to angle at all, you just be like that. And they can hit you. And it, it could be any gun. And there's a chance it will do absolutely nothing. Like for example that flak at the side, he did nothing to my tank. I don't know I don't exactly know where he hit me, but it definitely hit me. And it did no damage. This thing has one of the trolliest armor schemes in the game. It is ridiculous. Uh, and because of that, it can save you a lot of times. The turret traverse is pretty slow. Um, it is pretty maneuverable, but again, you know, Steel Titan's physics is... Still needs to be a bit worked on. Uh, you know, when a tank you know, suddenly just comes to a grinding halt when it starts to climb up just a bit of a hill. That's not how tanks work. Um, you know, you can have a... Like, if you watch some videos of, like, Tigers or, you know, like, M4 Shermans or whatnot, or, you know, whatnot tank. If they climb up a slope that is about, like, probably that, that, or, like, like, bumpy or whatnot, they don't just grind a halt like that. It takes time for them to slow down, um, but they don't slow down that much because it's a tank. It's designed to go over bumpy terrain. It's designed, and I, I think that there needs to be some actual weight to these vehicles so that when they do hit like bumpy terrain, they don't just come to a dead stop. They don't, um, and I think that that's one of the major aspects of this game is the fact that. The train just doesn't really work. Um, yes, the train is very beautiful and it's very well made and whatnot, and the tanks are very well made, but when the tank just comes to a grind and halt because of one small bump, that's not right. Um, of course, you know, they have a lot on their plate, and, you know, complaining to them, you know, shouting at developers, developers and whatnot, isn't going to help the situation. It's only going to delay it even more. So. Um, I'm not complaining at the, at the developers, I'm just stating something from it. Just, that's the fact that, you know, the tanks, they don't, they still do not act like tanks. They act better since they, you know, the, the alpha version of this game, but they still do not act like tanks. I mean, you, you really don't feel the weight there. Um, you know, 42 tons, this doesn't feel like 42 tons, it should be... You know, it should be, like, climbing over the bumpy terrain. It should be rocketing up the, um, you know, the, the, those hills and slopes. It shouldn't be grinding to a halt uh, like it's in really, really sticky glue. 
And I think that is the major issue of this game. Um, I would, I, I, in my own opinion, I would love them to fix this first before focusing on tier three, um, because when they added more tanks, it's just going to make it more complicated. And I think that fixing this issue first will definitely make the game better for everybody, because then. Um, you know, you wouldn't have this problem. Uh, or maybe it's just this tank that has the, that problem. Um, it may just be me. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace!